Hey there, folks. Welcome to Know Your Neighborhood with me, Jesse Peters, your social savvy realtor with Remax Executives Realty, and welcome to episode one of four for our next neighborhood, which is Sage Creek. Now, have you heard of it? Do you know where it is? Some of you do. Some of you probably don't. So let me tell you. Pretty much you can find it between Bishop Grandin and the perimeter, and it's just off La Jemodier. This is a newer development in the city. When I say newer, it's been developed over the last six years. Residential, condos, apartments, amenities, even has its own fire station. So if you're wanting to move into Sage Creek soon, like now, you're gonna find 41 opportunities here. Of those 41 homes, 29 of them are residential resale, okay? Those are homes that are already built. The beautiful thing is, these homes have not been around for very long. Probably not gonna need a new roof. It's probably not gonna need new windows. And guess what? The basement, there's a good chance that it's gonna be finished. On an average, asking price is just a touch under 540,000. Here's the actual number. The square footage is gonna be 1,961 square feet. That's the average size of the home. So what you're probably expecting is a two-story with three, four bedrooms, good-sized home for the growing family. Now, the development is not fully finished yet, which leaves an opportunity for you to still build your custom home in the area. Here's what can be found on the multiple listing services, okay? 12 opportunities, 12 homes uh, that can be built through the builders, and the average list price is just a touch over 530,000, and the average square footage is actually 1,813 square feet. So a little bit smaller home, a little bit less asking price compared to the residential resale, but you got a bigger home, okay, and you can get into those right away. So with those new build opportunities, here's one thing to pay attention to. A lot of the times, that number does not include upgrades. So if you want a sweet kitchen with granite countertops or you want a triple car garage, guess what's gonna go up? The price. You're not necessarily gonna have that happen if you're looking to buy a home that is being resold. Keep that in mind. Okay, so there are the numbers for Sage Creek. Listen, it's important to know the numbers, whether you are currently living in the community so you know what's going on, so you have realistic expectations of where your investment is at. You gotta know the numbers if you're looking to buy to get into the neighborhood, so you know what you're spending, you get your budgets aligned, and if, and if you wanna sell, and you're in that neighborhood, you gotta know what things are selling for. That's what this is all about. The numbers do not lie. Know the numbers, and then you can take it to the next level, which is marketing. And if you want more details about that, hey, give me a buzz. In the meantime though, thanks for checking out episode one of Know Your Neighborhood, Sage Creek Style. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned in the upcoming episodes where we're gonna look at the schools, the activities, the businesses, and what else this amazing, growing community has to offer. Once again, thanks for checking it out, and stay social.